So today I'll be showing you how to enable TPM 2.0 on your Windows computer that's running an MSI motherboard. Now you might be trying to install Windows 11 Pro and you encounter this error saying this PC must support TPM 2.0. So this is how you do it on the uh, MSI motherboard. So the first thing you want to do is back out of the Windows installation process. So just close everything, just hit back, 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 back until you go to the beginning and just back out of the entire process. Like that. So your computer is going to restart and as it's restarting, you want to press F11 on your keyboard. Okay, and that's going to take you to the BIOS. So allow that to boot. So in the BIOS, just click on enter setup. And that's going to take you to this page. Now on this page, you want to go to advanced or you can press S F7 on your keyboard or just use your mouse and click on advanced at the top there. Now, once you click on that, you should see settings. Click on that. And then under settings, go ahead and click on security. And then under security, click on trusted computing. And then under trusted computing, the first thing you want to do is, first of all, you'll see that AMD TPM switch is grayed out. So you cannot be able to enable it. So what you need to do is, first of all, enable the top option there called security device support. So click on that and then enable. Now, once that is enabled, you'll notice you can now enable the AMD TPM switch. So go ahead and click on it and then click on that. And that's going to enable that feature. And now you should be able to uh, install Windows 11 Pro. So to exit out of here, just go ahead and press escape on your keyboard. And then once you press escape and escape and escape again, then click on save and exit and that's going to save the changes and then now you click on save changes and reboot and then confirm by clicking on yes so now when you try to install windows 11 pro you can see there's no error telling you that you need to enable tpm 2.0 so you can proceed with installing windows 11. thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and good luck.